Today on Games Up, we will be playing The King's Will, the new Euro game designed by Hans Peter Stoll and published by Blackfire Entertainment. In The King's Will, you will be building up, expanding, and overseeing your duchy in the hopes of pleasing the difficult demands of the king. And how does one charm the king? By meeting the demands of the King's Will cards, which are elusive and remain hidden throughout the game. Players must memorize and choose King's Will cards over the course of the game for game end victory conditions. But beware of the King's Wrath, which if not fulfilled, reflects badly upon the duchy. To satisfy the King's wishes, players will use a shifting tile system for action selection. The active player completes two actions from the selected tile, while all other players may perform one action. All the while, the king moves closer and closer and ultimately will judge the progress of each duchy. We're playing the King's Will today, and we're going to play through three rounds of the game, which is one of the recommendations for your first play of the game. And we also feel that it makes it tighter for a two-player game. And we both were able to pick one of the King's Will mm -hmm. cards. We each saw it secretly. We now place them down on the board. Mine is in the lower left-hand corner. And I saw the one in the upper left-hand corner. Right. And the other four are random, so we don't know what those are. Um, and I'm going to start the game. Mm -hmm. And so I can come to the action selection board and pick my first action. I am going to pick the governing action, which is here. And I can either do two times the same action mm -hmm. or one time each of the two different actions. So I'm going to do um, I'm going to do one of each of the actions. So I can first come up here on this scale and move up one on the um, education track. And if I do that, I also increase the mood of my people by one, so they're getting a little bit happier, which is good. And then I'm going to come up for my second part of the action, or my second action of this part, I'm going to come up here on this the development, development yeah. track. Yeah. And after you now chose two actions, um, I also can choose one of the actions, which is mm -hmm. nice, it has never downtime. And mm -hmm. I'm choosing the, the development action. Okay. So I also want to have more wood. Okay, so now that we've both selected our actions for this tile, this action tile comes away and every guy, every other guy slides forward and we have there, a new mm -hmm. sort of action selection board set up for your turn now. Yeah, okay, um, I decide to go for the enrichment action. Okay. And because it is um, placed on the end of the action selection board, mm -hmm. I immediately get one victory point. And that's not bad because victory points are so I'm here on the bottom. Pretty pretty tight in this game. So we have this guy coming out. Yeah. Um I definitely want to see King the King's Will cards because right. I like to know what I want to do during the turns of the game. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what I want to work for yeah. and I want to I don't want to work blind. Mm -hmm. um, I also can use this um, the bottom action to get taxes. It makes my um, people unhappy in my village. But for now, I will look twice on okay, the king's card. So you don't want card. to tax at all. So I will look first to this card. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I also will look at this card. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Okay. Not sure about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I also don't want to tax my people. I don't want to make them so unhappy. And I also want to know what I'm working towards in the game. So I will also look at this King's Will card for my action. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so that was that action. So now mm -hmm. the tiles move again. So for my next turn, I'm going to build. Use the building action. And I can choose to build settlements or buildings or a combination of both. And so first I'm going to build the hospital. It's one of my <laughs> favorite buildings. Mm -hmm. And this will come under one of my boards here. I'm going to put it here. In one of my, in my little duchy, duchy. Um, and I have to pay... Um, 
a leather and a wood for that. And so one thing we have to mention here, um, two things. On the one hand, uh, these buildings, it doesn't matter if you have a little guy on top or not. Right. And the second thing is these buildings have victory points on the side, mm -hmm. but you only get these victory points if you close down this victory point area with another building. Exactly. So you have to find another building which in the end fits mm -hmm. to the one. Right, exactly. So I paid for my hospital, except I have to make my people a little bit sad. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they don't like having a hospital. I thought they would like it, but... Um, the hospital, the function is that you can multiply, you can make more meeples during the game, and normally you need a little um, hamlet for that. And in this case, you can, you know, you don't need a hamlet. You yes. can, can multiply on anywhere. the grass, anywhere, <laughs> on the, the free sky, so which is quite nice. Yeah, so that's why I got the hospital. I like that quite a lot. You're not dependent on hamlets. Um, and then I can now choose again to build a building or a settlement. And I don't have enough resources for a settlement, so I'm going to build another building. I'm going to build the inn, which costs me only one coin. And it's quite nice. I'm going to put it here. So I'm um, connecting a victory point there. You can see in the brown. And I'm paying one coin for that. Come here. And I get my people get a little bit happy because mm -hmm. I have an inn in there, a little uh, duchi. And this card lets me, when we have to pay the king's wrath at the end of a round, I can exchange one good for um, the other good that's required mm -hmm. by the king. So it gives me a little bit of flexibility with my resources. We are going more to talk about the paying this compulsory levy at the end of the round. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we um, again mention this card later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I can also build and I have the same options. So I can... Um, I'm going to spend, I think, because now I have the problem with the multiplying um, that uh, Nikki got the hospital, so I need hamlets for multiplying, which means I will build a hamlet, mm -hmm. which costs a uh, leather and a wood. And here now, it is so important, I need to have a guy sitting on a tile where there is a free building spot to be able to build a settlement. So I'm putting down my hamlet here. Yeah, that was your only option. And then right I'm now. spending one wood and one leather and I'm done building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. So we can move the building tile in the end. Yeah, it's always, of course, um, if as soon as you go to, go to the resources, you also understand how this with the resources works. And it's also why it's important to have more guys on the tiles. And yeah. I'm not taking the multiplying action to prevent that you're taking it. <laughs> okay, so you're taking So that you have a little one. bit of a disadvantage and yeah. I will <laughs> multiply now two times. Two I have two hamlets, so... You can get two new guys, yeah. right? And then yeah. I also get more resources later on, which is yeah. not bad. Okay. So I will also choose to multiply. I can only do it once. But Where I'm, do you want? I'm going to put him on my... Um, leather? My leather, yeah. Okay. And this is not possible because yeah. of the hospital. because I have the hospital, yeah. Okay, so we can move this guy mm -hmm. back. I'm ending the round. I'm okay. taking the... It's conspiring. Conspiring, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the conspiring special, you can, um, I can choose one of the four actions behind the golden line, which are normally locked for not taking, and mm -hmm. you, you can sadly not do take any, anything. Yeah, I want sad. to, I will take the um, exploiting. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking the exploiting and I will take stone. Okay. So I will get in total one stone. Mm -hmm. This is maybe not so useful. <laughs> um, but and you also got a victory point, Yeah, this right? is the one mm -hmm. useful thing. I get a victory point. Yeah. Okay, so we can move this to the yep. back and then... So this comes away and now the king has made it yeah. to the end on his travels. He's ready to come and assess everything. Mm -hmm. But before we do, before we assess, before we have to pay him food and we can give him even more food or stone and we get victory points of that, we have to choose what we think the king really wants, what his will is, mm -hmm. looks like. And we have these cards there and every card has some kind of requirements. It gives us victory points. And we have seen so far, I have seen three, you have seen, seen two. two. Yep. And I will 
pick first my card I've seen um, yeah. like and at the beginning of the game. And then you choose for yours? Yep. So I'm going to choose also the one that I saw at the beginning mm -hmm. of the game. And because in a two and a three player game there the fourth spot is blocked. Mm -hmm. And in a two player game we can now use neutral markers. Okay, so you like that one. So now I can never go there. Yeah, so. You can never go there. <laughs> so well at least I don't have to look at that card. <laughs> it makes it easier. Okay. I mean you so. could look because every card has a king of wrath. Yeah, the wrath. And that's every true. wrath has to be fulfilled of every player. Yeah. If you are not able to fulfill a wrath, you lose two victory points, and if you put your mark on this card, you cannot score it. Yeah, that, that's okay. true. Mm -hmm. Good. So then we come to the travel board, mm -hmm. and first of all... We have to pay um, the king's levy, mm -hmm. so it's kind of just his requirements of us as being his subjects. Mm -hmm. So it's this time, it's one food and actually one of our village people, which because, um, is very sad for me. I can start, I give yeah. up one food. If you are not able to this, you lose a victory point and a mood. Yeah. And I will get rid of, I'm guessing, my... Mm. <laughs> this is, I don't like this one. I don't want to say goodbye to my, my oh, village I will people. get rid of my stone guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I need my stone guy. Oh, this is not <laughs> easy. I get rid of my food guy. Who needs food? So. <laughs> we don't need food. Okay, I will also give up one food here. E mm. I, I actually have the option with my inn building that I could give up something different, but right now I'll give up food. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, I don't want to say goodbye to my village friends, but I will take my leather guy, because right now I have a lot of leather, so it's mm -hmm. okay. Um, so we both paid the king's levy. Now we have the optional bonuses that we can pay, okay. which depends on our place on the mood track. Mm -hmm. So we're both in the same spot at plus one. And so we can each give up a stone for a victory point and then also two coins for a victory mm -hmm. point. I will give up... Mm, I, let, I will give up both. One stone okay. and two coins. Okay, so you come to zero. And I get two victory points. Yep. Okay, I sadly don't have two coins, so I can't do that one, but I can give up a stone, mm -hmm. so I get one victory point. Yeah, very um, good. And then this comes away, this goes away, and now yeah. for the new round, we turn over a new board, and the king will ask us for new things when he comes and visits next time. And yeah, so then the king starts again at the back mm -hmm. and we go and through the cycle again yeah. on the second round yeah okay. and then you can start yeah i'm the starting player again let's see i'm definitely in need of resources because i want to do some more building maybe later so i'm going to come and do this um sort of exploitation here mm. and i'm going to get i get two wood so I have one guy on my wood, and I have a step on the mm -hmm. development track, so two wood, and then one stone, because I have one guy there. And I'm also taking a stone. Okay. So that was my turn. So all shifts down. Uh -huh. I'm doing the multiplying action. Oh, okay. And I multiply again twice. Two times. Yeah, that's nice. So I have your three spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to multiply. I can do it once, and I will come... Hmm. I will come to the wood here so I can move again mm -hmm. towards my leather and everything. Um, okay, yeah, that was fast. Let's see. Actually, okay, I will pick the movement action. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move him two spaces. Mm -hmm. He's going to come down to my food spot. And then my second action, I'm going to actually exchange resources. I'm going to give up one leather and get one stone. Mm -hmm. And that was my turn. Okay, I'm moving. Okay, I don't know what I do. Also, I move from this guy here mm -hmm. to the food. Mm -hmm. And then I'm moving. Um, hmm. Going to explore. This, I'm <laughs> moving this guy out. Mm -hmm. And I, get a, I can choose a new tile. And all these tiles exist Again, so I'm choosing then the Another food. food yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay, so that was the movement. So I moved then with two guys one step. Yeah. So I'm taking the enrichment action. Mm -hmm. so I'm taking so one victory, victory point. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm looking under one card, so we now have two. <laughs> Do I don't want to card? forget which card I want. Ah, up here. Okay. Hmm. Difficult. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I will tax my people, and sadly I don't have an uh, even number, so I only get six coins. But it's still more than you would get if you... Yeah, but one coin more. Yeah, but it's next not, time you could get more. Good. And so I can decide, I will look at a King's Will card. Hmm. And I have to decide, I will come up here at one you've looked at already. Check it out. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I don't know if I like any of these <laughs> cards, but okay. So that was your action. No, I don't know which card. <laughs> you don't remember was which one. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, that's a difficulty. You have to filming. keep it in your memory. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. so difficult. <laughs> ah, okay, this is a good. No, what do I want to do? Hmm. Maybe it's not so bad to get more resources, but for that I want to govern and move up on the development track. Mm. So I'm going to move two steps up here. So I go up to three. And now I'll get more resources when I go and harvest and everything. I'm taking also the governing step. Okay, on the development track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I'm taking the development step. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I will pick then the harvesting. Okay, so you get another victory point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm choosing, I will get three food and two letter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Three oh, food. not bad. Two, two letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I will pick the food. I don't have any mm. guys on leather, so of course that doesn't make sense. So I get one food plus another one from the development track. Mm -hmm. So I go up to three. Um, okay. The king is getting... Closer again. Hmm. As much as I would like to build, I also want to multiply because I'm feeling like my village is a little bit scarcely populated. So I'm going to take the multiplying action. I'm going to multiply twice. Mm -hmm. And again, because I have the hospital, I can put my guys down anywhere where there's another guy. So I can come on the food field, put one there. And then I think I want to come on the yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also multiplying and I'm putting my guy on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I need to build. I mean, even mm -hmm. though I move the king up, but I have to build now. Okay, and you get another victory point, yeah. so it's not such another a bad strategy just to always take point. that action tile. Um, yeah, a victory point can be a lot mm -hmm. in this game. And I need to build. <laughs> Build across my castle. Okay. Which gives me now. You have your expanded storage, right? Yeah. For your resources. And then I have to pay two wood and one stone. <laughs> <laughs> and then my people get really sad. Oh, you're so sad. <laughs> if I drop down to minus four, I lose a guy and a victory point. So it should really not happen. Yeah. And then I build with one letter because I have the development um, in the education bonus mm -hmm. I built one hamlet I can build it here okay. and then your people get a little bit happier yeah. so you're not in the danger <laughs> zone quite yet <laughs> okay now I want to build I think I want to build a monastery it's mm -hmm. pretty expensive but it's nice because it prevents uh, king's wrath yeah. if it comes yeah. so I will pay two stone a wood and a leather mm -hmm. and I get a monastery and I only have one spot where I can put him so he's going to come here and then I get one increase in my mood my people are happy that there's a monastery in town <laughs> so <laughs> it's nice and yeah that was a building action yeah need to conspire <sighs> mm -hmm. and I have to harvest more food okay mm -hmm. So it's another. You're getting. You have like another four. food to feed. Go up to nine. It's crazy. Okay. That's okay. It. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. 
Let me look. I think I picked like such a difficult card here. <laughs> I mean, do I have enough resources? Oh, no, but I don't have enough mood. Mm. Yeah, I need to get my people happier. So I'm going mm. to build. I'm going to build a hamlet. Mm -hmm. um, it costs me only one. I'm going to give up one wood. Mm -hmm. And it makes me a little bit happier. So uh, I can put a hamlet on my mm -hmm. open space. And, and then I'm <clears> going to build now a building. Okay, I'm going to take then the church. Um, it gives me an increase of a mood, mm -hmm. and I'll put it here. It costs me um, a stone and a leather, but I get an increase of a mood, so I'm at mm -hmm. zero on the mood track. And if someone picks governing, I can decide to mm -hmm. um, to pay a coin to get yeah. an increase in mood. Uh, do you want to let? I uh, know I want to put it here. Yeah, so that was silly because I could mm -hmm. get a two. Point. And I'm paying one coin and one letter mm -hmm. to get a school. Okay. It fits perfectly here. I was lucky that you didn't take it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I get one mood increase. Yeah. Okay, so to minus one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this, there I checked everything on my list. I definitely wanted to close down the two points. Mm -hmm. I wanted to increase my mood a little bit. So now I can almost close down the game. <laughs> you can do it. The problem is that um, for the King Ruffs, you often need like um, at least one resource of leather or at least one resource of stone. Yeah. And I don't have this. <laughs> yeah, you so have a lot of food though. But it can happen that I'm totally get screwed over by the King's Ruff <laughs> because I almost forgot what all these cards said. <laughs> oh, should I now take it safe? Yeah, I take it safe. I take the um uh, exploiting okay so getting yeah i mean stone and wood, yeah. it just to get some you know some resources there so i get um two stones and another two woods mm -hmm. okay i'm going to get stone so i will get one two three stone mm -hmm. one two three and what i'm going to do is i'm going to then use my exchange action yeah. that i have and i'm going to get uh, I'll get a leather instead, instead of, of a stone. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more balanced there. Yeah. So okay. you can exchange one of your resources you get. You can mm -hmm. decide to get mm -hmm. something else for that. Yeah. So I'm going to... I'm not going to end the game mm -hmm. yet either. I have a little bit more I want to do. I'm going to go to govern. I'm going to go up one on the mm -hmm. development track one more. That also gives me an increase in mood. Oh, no, that doesn't. Sorry. That would give you an increase in mood because mm -hmm. you have the school. But... And then I'll, of course, then go up one on the education. It gives me an increase in mood. And I could pay because of my church. I could pay a coin to increase my mood. And I think I'll pay one coin. Mm -hmm. I'll do it once, so I do one coin for one increase in mood. So I'm at plus two. Okay. And I'm climbing up development. I mean, I will not make it to the top. Mm -hmm. And I get, because I have the school, I get mm -hmm. an increase in mood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I will then take the victory point and close the game down. Okay, so a multiplying action. Yeah, I mean, I don't need it. But, um, yeah, I will, I, I will just multiply twice. I mean, this is not sadly. It only gave me a victory point because now in this state there might be cards in, which means you have to have a lot of people, but I definitely didn't see this card. Not a tip for you, but... Yeah. Yeah, and I will also... Mm -hmm. Wait, what can I... I can also you could also sell one. But Resource I don't know if I need it. Yeah. Coins. I don't think I really need coins. You're so far ahead of me, and I have four, mm -hmm. which is normally a good yeah. amount. So I'll just take a guy, and he will come hang out at my monastery. So. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we can move the tile back again. Yep, and the king has made it. Mm -hmm. and okay. So you choose first, right? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely take this guy. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was clear, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't want that one because you completely <laughs> beat me there, but I think this one that I looked at yeah. uh, was okay. Yeah. It's but not yeah. ideal, but that's okay. Okay, then I have to spend a food and a letter. <laughs> oh, you can block one, but it doesn't matter at the end, yeah. Yeah. Food, <laughs> you have so much food. But it does letter, I'm like... Yeah, oh. okay, I will spend... Let me think. I can actually spend... What do I need? No, okay. I'll spend also food and a leather for the king's levy. Um, then we can each spend 
a stone and a coin. Yeah. And I will, ah, come on, I will spend both. Let's go with <laughs> I get okay. at least two points, and even if I have yeah. to pay it, I have to pay the, these two victory points again, you know. Yeah, so, so it's a gamble. It's in the right? end, yeah. no real risk. I will also do that. I will still have a stone. I will only have two coins. <laughs> but I have a church, or I have a monastery, so I could prevent one king's okay, wrath. So you get also so. two points. Yeah, also two. Yeah. Good, this was now the end of the third round. It's definitely a lot tighter than when you would now have a fourth round right. where we could do everything we didn't have time for. So this is why I like it three rounds more. But now we look at the scores. Yep. Okay, the first card. Um, I chose <laughs> it. You need to have one food. Oh, you don't have to give it up. Mm -hmm. You have a food. I have definitely a food. <laughs> yeah, you have plenty of food. And this is, I think, quite uh, difficult, but it's very, you get a lot out of it. Yeah, I need right. a set of seven coins and, and seven, seven foods. Food. That's why you went food crazy. Yeah, yeah but it is so really sense. not so easy, I would no, say, but I get now one. 10 yeah. points. 10 points. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay, well Good. done. Okay, then the next card. We both chose. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't the end sure if this was the mood card or the development card. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, I think, are on the top. Yep. So you get eight, eight points. points. Yes, I mean, it's only eight, not ten, but that's okay. And I get, oh, I get still seven, seven. points. It's oh. <laughs> pretty so good. So it wasn't so bad <laughs> no. not to make this last step. No, it's only one point difference. Okay, let's yeah. see what is in here. Mood. Oh, okay. Minus one. Okay. Oof, we both made we it. We both made it. <laughs> and neither and of us chose it. You can yeah. reveal the next cards. Okay. So I start down here. This one I picked. Sorry. Yeah. So this was having, you need to have at least a castle, a monastery, or a village. Or, or yeah. Or. So, or you have a castle, so you're good. Yeah. I have one of each. Um, so this one, I got to the top. I have one of each oh, building. This is why. Well, so that's why I went for one of each building. So that's points. 10 points. Yep. Okay, and this is also not so easy, I have to no. say. Then the next one. Oh, this was not the one I wanted. Can you turn it around? Yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, this is stupid. Okay, that's okay. We need a castle. I need a castle. Oh, each castle is three points. And I have points. zero stones. Oh, wow. I get, get only three. A total of three points. I thought it was a different card. Yeah, this, is this is what I, this is my mistake. <laughs> I thought it was a card where you get points for <laughs> villages and hamlets. That's pretty good. Yeah, that really <laughs> messed me up. That three points is not going to work okay, out. Okay, you can. And then the last card, which I know you get like a billion points for. I need a, two hamlets or a wood. I have two hamlets and a wood, and wood. so uh, that's fine. And I have... Yeah, I have two hamlets. I have five hamlets. I get ten points. Oh, yeah, this one. Ah, oh, this is where the memory comes in. I totally thought it was a different card. Okay. <sighs> Who? Guess yeah. was the king card. Um, maybe one comment quickly here. You see, normally the king's wrath are almost too easy to fulfill. Yeah, we almost always yeah. make them all. Maybe one time, yeah. one person doesn't make the, one. But um, yeah. The publisher said it. You, if you wanted more. Difficult, you can leave away the slash and say and, yeah. and then definitely gets then more, it's difficult. more difficult. Yeah. Then you would definitely, we would each have not okay. made some of them. Then let's continue in this coin yeah. phase and mm -hmm. we now look at the buildings. If we you know combine buildings, I get two points yeah. because and I get one. combined it and you get one point. Mm -hmm. If we then turn around our victory points and sum them up, you have um, 35 points mm -hmm. and I have 45 <laughs> points. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a card made also then a big difference, of course, where you only got three points. Yeah, that one, that's my fault. I was thinking of a different card in my yeah. head, so that's okay. And and you often went for the one point. You did a lot of the king's optional levies. So, mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, in the end, you yeah you played really well. And mm -hmm. But if you would have gotten a better card, the difference would maybe have been three points. Yeah, certainly. It's generally a close, a close game, normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The King's Will is a mid-weight action selection and terrain building game that combines many different mechanisms and gaming aspects into one package. It delivers a different, fresh feeling which gives you a decent variety of options. The action selection mechanism is really nice in that every player is still involved in the game when it is another player's turn. That keeps you engaged and thinking on every turn and reduces the downtime over the course of the game. When it gets close to the end of a round, tensions flare because most players hope that the last action tile is not picked and that there is then another chance to build up your duchy before the king arrives. 
the game definitely plays best with four players. With four players, you generally have fewer chances to pick an action tile, and therefore you have fewer actions, and so the resources are pretty limited and you really have to optimize your machine to focus on your selected King's Will cards. With two and three players, the game almost felt too long and easy, and it often happened that we didn't know what to do at the end of the game because we had completely built our duchies and we were then just waiting for our will cards to be scored. Reducing the number of rounds really helped make the two-player game feel tighter. The Hidden King's Will cards, which are the main source of victory points for the game, add a really interesting memorization twist to the game. You have a limited number of times where you can peek at the cards, and you have to make sure to remember which cards you looked at and where they are located. Memorization is certainly not for everyone, especially in a more strategic Euro-style game, but it also brought some funny moments when other players forgot the cards that they had looked at. The hidden cards also bring up our two biggest concerns with the game. First, we found that the King's Wrath conditions were overall too easy and were almost always fulfilled by all players at the end of the game. And because the Wraths are not a big problem, peeking under the cards is mostly useful for finding the King's Will conditions that you want to fulfill. But not all cards are as easy to fulfill as others, which in the end means that the person who has more luck in finding their first four optimal cards has a big advantage over the other players, because from now on they can ignore the other will cards and do not worry about those wraths and instead focus on their own card conditions. Overall, the king's will is a diamond in the rough. There are so many great ideas in this game which are really fun, but there are also some rough edges when the game comes to an end. People who like midweight Euro games with some interesting mechanics should still take a closer look at the King's Will. Thank you for watching Games Up. See you next time.